<laughs> another. Do you get fed up with it, though? No, no, no. It's a beautiful song. I, I really loved writing that song with the guys, yeah. yeah. I'm still proud of it. Yeah. Tell you what, we've had, a, we had a comment in, actually, from one of our viewers this morning. I don't know what the first name is. S. Haskell, who says that their son was born via Caesarean uh, with that track, Don't Stop Believing, playing on the radio <laughs> at the time. Uh, and it means a huge amount to the whole family and will be forever special to them. Oh, my God. I've heard so many versions of, of, of that, but not like that before. <laughs> Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, it paints quite a picture, yeah. doesn't it? How, yeah. how does it feel when you, you see the video? Um, a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was way a long time ago. You know, I, I left the group uh, about 31 years ago, uh, pretty burnt out, pretty tired of, of touring. Mm -hmm. I kind of had almost a bit of PTSD uh, uh, from how hard we used to work, to be honest with you. So the only answer really was for me to stop. I just could, I could feel it. There was an emptiness in my soul with my passion for music that I had when I was a child very early on that was starting to go away. And it wasn't like we were talking about such things. You know, the group back in those days didn't say, so how are you feeling? How's your feelings? Nobody was doing that. We were mm -hmm. just rocking. So uh, it kind of just caught up to me and all of a sudden it hit me that I had to just stop. But now you're back. I'm back with a new yeah, record. Back, yeah, back, yeah. And I yeah. think we can hear a bit of it as well. It's as the new single, No More Crying. Let's have a listen. Love's forsaken and forgotten On this lost and lonely road She could hear So this is from your new album. What has brought you back to music then? Mm, that's such a long story. Um, so many things had to happen in my life. I had to go back to my hometown and relax and find old friends and just really walk away from the music business. That was one component of it in order to get back to music. But I really had no intention of, giving, of coming back to music because uh, I was pretty burnt out with it all. And I already had lived the dream of dreams as far as I was concerned. So what am I going to do any better than we already had done at that point? Mm -hmm. So I really walked with no intention of coming back. And then I met a girl named Kelly Nash. And, and Kelly and I got together. She had um, stage four breast cancer when I met her. And we were inseparable. And unfortunately, I lost her uh, a year and a half after we were together. But after a couple of years of the grieving process, I had made a promise to her. She asked me that if something ever happened to her, I would not go back into isolation. So the record is a promise I'm keeping, number one. And number two, honestly, the passion for music, because my heart was finally completely broken. You know, I don't think a heart is complete until it's completely broken. Mm -hmm. And that's what it took to really get my heart broken. And from that came all the music that I'm writing now. Now, the record isn't all sadness and loss. The record is also happiness and joy, too. But I think uh, it, it took that to make me find the passion that I originally had lost when I left the group. I'm so sorry about what you've been through. And yeah. I, 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 is, is this part of the grieving process for you? You talked I, about, you know, putting it out there and, 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 and joining music again. I think, I think it's, it's part of a healing process, but it's really part of keeping the promise. For she said if something was to happen to me, that if I went back into isolation, she felt it would make this all for naught, she said. In other words, if something did happen. Mm. And so when I make that promise, I said, I promise. So, so that's part of what the music is about and also... You know, I found the passion for writing music again that I had lost for years. And that means so much to me to rediscover. It's like an old friend that you never thought you'd see again. So you know? now you've got that passion back. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? You've got the album. Yeah. Are you going to do more, do you think? Do yeah, you well, I've, got, I've already got more songs started. So, I mean, it's a process that I've just opened up this big box, I think, of toys that I've just discovered, you know. Yeah. What's it like to be back in that room of the industry? I mean, can it live up to expectations? It's a different industry, isn't it? It's, it's totally different. But I, I'm embracing the whole thing. I, I think it's wonderful right now. I think it's an exciting time for music. Yeah. Yeah.